At this point, believe it or not, you have all of the fundamentals of Photoshop down. You know what layers are, you know what a selection is, how to create an active region and how to really adjust it to make it as good as possible, and also how to do color correction. And those, those really are the three fundamental building blocks of Photoshop. From this point forward, we get to have a lot of fun. I liked that last t-shirt example. I thought it was fun. It's actually changing something that you can't do with any other program. Uh, now let's uh, now let's do things such as create fixes. Create fixes. Do fixes. So let's start with a really simple one. Before I show you this, let me just uh, show you a tool I haven't shown you yet. It's the magnifying glass. You can click it, and then you can zoom into various areas. It's an alternative to pressing Control plus. I hadn't shown it to you, just kind of wanted to show it to you right there. In order to uh, get rid of this, we use something called the Stamp Tool, or the Clone Stamp Tool. It's located right here, and like any brush, its settings, in order to make it larger and smaller, are right here. Its hardness is always set on zero, always set on zero. That's just how it works right there. You can set it higher, but you always keep the Clone Stamp brush on zero. And the way that it works, it tells you. Could not use the clone step because the area to clone has not been defined. Option click to define a source point. So what you do is you click Alt, and this is the area that you're going to be copying from. When you let go of Alt, that's where you're going to be pasting into. You do this, done. Let me show you what I did one more time. I hold down Alt, this is me holding down Alt, I click, so I just clicked the mouse right there, in fact, let me make this even simpler for you by uh, showing when I click the mouse. I hold down Alt, I click, that little red dot was me clicking, I let go of Alt, and then when I click, in, then when I click again, it pastes into that area. So essentially what I'm doing right here, I'll just show you with uh, the rectangular marquee, is I am, here we go, I am copying this area, just Control C, Control V, and I am moving it over here. And that's all that I'm doing right here. And it happens to be that it has a bit of a faded edge. Let's just uh, use the eraser tool in order to give this a faded edge. There we go. There we go. And let's actually use the move tool to move this up a little bit. Fantastic. That is all that the clone stamp tool does. It just copies from one area and pastes in another area. So going back to it right here, let's go to the clone stamp and I'm just going to press Alt, I'm going to click right here. And you can use this for good, I'm going to undo that. You can use it for bad, uh, I'm going to actually turn off the uh, mouse click, that's kind of annoying to me. You know, you can do whatever you want with it, but let me give you a few pieces of advice to do as good of a job with it as you can. Let's undo this a couple of times, that's disgusting. Uh, I'm going to create a new layer, there we go, I'm going to create a new layer, and instead of doing the corrections on the layer itself, I'm going to do them on an empty new layer. So I'm just going to alt click. I'm going to do, oh no, nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? In order to make it so you can use this new layer in the options bar, you need to go to current and below. So rather than just uh, copying and pasting from the current layer, copy and paste from current and below layers. So I'm going to alt click. I'm going to do this, do a little fix right there, do a little fix on the mouth right there, do a little fix over here. Uh, maybe I'll go up top and do some fixes up here. Just kind of going to go through the face in any place that I see a little bit of a blemish. I'm just pressing alt. I'm clicking uh, and I'm making it work right there. So there we go. Pretty good. Now, I ran into a bit of a problem. When I fixed this mouth, I actually made a mistake and I went over it more than I wanted to. Now, if this was being done on the same layer, I need to go back in the history and start from scratch. But because I created a new layer and I'm making all of the changes on this new layer, this is what we have as an independent layer. So if I go to the eraser tool here, let's do that right here, I could actually just erase out this fix right here and it erases out and I still have all of the other changes. So let me go back to the stamp tool. There's the stamp tool right there. And you know, I could do things for evil. You know, I could get rid of his nostril if I really wanted, uh, but that's not really what I want to do. Normally it's for small little fixes. Let me show you this with a bit more advanced of an image. All right, don't save. And let's say you had something such as this one, this old image right here. 